Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view of the city of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yitzi. In our top story, we have breaking news. The city of Columbia is the first LEED certified city in the state of South Carolina. The city is, is one of that small group, um, as Claire mentioned, of 120 local governments worldwide to as achieve this LEED certification. And we've been doing it for about the last eight years. Um, it's truly remarkable. Uh, you'll see some uh, YouTube videos with little more details that Clara had presented. But to me, what stood out was really the reduction of energy and greenhouse gas emissions, which a lot of cities and a lot of companies are interested in doing to help us all in the long term. So we applaud Mayor uh, Rickman, City Council members, City of Columbia staff. I know there are many of them in this room and certainly the Public Works Department and Clara for doing this hard work and this heavy lift to raise the bar for what we should expect from our cities and communities. And your commitment to this comprehensive citywide version will provide really in the long term a stream of environmental, economic, community and worker benefits for decades to come. So on behalf of the U.S. Green Building Council, I am very proud to present the city with their LEED Gold certification, which I have on this plaque and you will probably also receive one for your building. But I welcome uh, the mayor, city council and our, our public works group to come up and accept this award. Our staff in Parks and Recreation will recognize because July was National Parks and Recreation Month. I'd like to declare Parks and Recs Month on behalf of myself and this body at City Council and would like all of Parks and Recs to come up front here to, to accept this proclamation and be part of the picture for it. In breaking news for the city of Columbia, Columbia has been named as one of the best places to live in South Carolina. This designation comes from Travel and Leisure magazine. The magazine included Columbia, South Carolina as one of the best places to live in this state. In order to spread the good news, the city of Columbia has posted various billboards throughout the community to let our citizens know about this recent designation and to make sure that everyone knows to take pride in our city. Always remember that we are Columbia and Columbia is a great place to live, work, grow, and play. We start off with a series of ribbon cuttings and grand opening ceremonies for local businesses that have recently opened here in the city of Columbia. This historic cottage here, again, as it's been through a cycle, it's been medical offices, it's been all types of things in its history, but now we have our continuation of innkeepers and Crystal and Ken, we're so excited for y'all. I know y'all are gonna be excited. Um, I know you've been excited, you've been doing this for a little bit, but really for, for being part and a way to introduce you to our community. The North Main Corridor is probably one of the most important corridors in my district. Um, I care for it very deeply. Um, and I also care for uh, the minority community that surrounds here. It's my community. And so this is also an example of wealth creation and the fact that we own something on North Main Street as it begins to develop. And y'all need to get, y'all really need to clap because yeah. I mean, we live out here and we lease out here, but we do not own here. And I know that Ashley had her little store down the street and now she has her own space, and which is very exciting. And if you haven't been inside, it is, um, it'll make you smile. Uh, there are a lot of funny things in there, a lot of cool gifts uh, to put some joy in everybody's, but excited to have another woman-owned business open up this week. The Columbia Richland Fire Department recently hosted the Summer Youth Academy for local youth who were needing jobs and job training during the summer. Columbia Richland Fire Rescue and the Urban League has partnered together the last two years to make this uh, a success in my eyes. And what we have here is uh, some gentlemen that started out slow but finished fast and finished well. They are a great group. They have done things that they didn't expect to do and it wasn't the usual camp that we They would just sit around and wonder what it was going to do next. So we tested them and taught 
different uh, aspects of life, and um, they did well. I watched this video, and I think that they had brought a lot to the table, and you know, just that manner. And in other summer news, our parks have been very busy this summer. One of the activities has been prime time in the parks. We share with you now highlights from two recent events. Another recent event was a Greenview Park event for a back to school bash that supplied school supplies to children in our local community. Staff from our Columbia Police Department and the Columbia Richland Fire Department recently joined together to support a fundraiser to provide funds for the family members of those who were related to the Irmo firefighter who recently lost his life in the line of duty. The Battle of the Badges hockey match raised money locally for that cause. In other news, the Columbia Richland Fire Department was also recently recognized as a fire safe community. Well, I'm very proud of my department and the men and women of my department that not only put their lives on the line, but they also want to make sure the lives are being saved before they even get there, just by being a fire safe community designated in South Carolina. And this is like the fourth time we've gotten it since its inception. And we just want to thank you all for recognizing uh, our department. Thank you for watching City View, where we bring you an inside view of the City of Columbia. If you have any questions about any information, please contact Public Relations Media and Marketing. Call us at 803-545-3020, email us at pio at columbiasc.gov, and also visit our website at columbiasc.gov.